tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. All right, I want to show you this. Um, temperatures, uh, they're going to be nice and warm over the next uh, several days. We'll likely top out right around 80 degrees, which is about 10 degrees or close to it above average. We're going to slide a little bit next week, but even these temperatures will remain at or very close to average. That's not the most significant change I made in the eight day. We'll get to that in a moment. But I also wanted to show you this. <laughs> now, this began the first uh, day of several, a string of six days, really the most significant heat wave that I recall in September. And of course, that happened back in the 2017. I'm sure a lot of us uh, remember that one. Uh, nonetheless, we have a live view. This is Kalamazoo. And amidst this warm day, we have to deal with some high mid-level clouds out there. And they're a little bit thicker the farther south you go. For instance, what you can see right now currently in Kalamazoo, also in South Haven. And I love to see this. Don't give up on those boats yet. We're in September. Nice, beautiful weather out there. And look how calm that water is on Lake Michigan. JLR Ford International Airport. Now, I like this camera view because you can actually see the kind of the forecast. Uh, the high mid-level clouds are going to be thicker to the west-southwest. You can kind of see that if you divide uh, the camera screen. More blue sky up to the north, and uh, that's what you can expect. So if you're Mount Pleasant, Big Rapids, Greenville, you're gonna enjoy a little more in the way of sunshine. The wind out there, not only do we have a beautiful warm day, the wind is exceptionally light, and we also have low humidity levels, and you can really get some beautiful weather patterns this time of year. So temperature-wise, everybody's warm throughout the state. There's no 60s out there, even all the way up to Sheboygan Straits area at 72 degrees. We're 77 in Grand Rapids, which if you recall, this I think this is the third day in a row that we have temperatures warmer than the previous uh, 24 hours. And that is certainly the case. We're running about five degrees warmer than yesterday at the same time. Hence, we're going with a high of 82 today and yesterday it was 78. So here you go. Here's the big question mark. There's an upper level low pressure system spinning in Illinois. And the question was over the past couple of days, how much moisture would get in from that? Right now, it looks like we're gonna primarily see just high mid-level clouds from it. Although a stray shower is possible, a lot of this would actually be a loft. So if you get a shower, actually we need the rain, uh, it would be very, very brief. You can see some of that popping up some high mid-level clouds tonight. It should be a beautiful sunrise tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, <laughs> I think this forecast model just overdoes the rain chances. There will be a pop-up shower once again. I'm going to put both days at about 20% chance. And as we roll through uh, Saturday night into uh, Saturday, it looks like gorgeous weather out there. And that's going to continue really throughout most of the weekend. Here's what this eight-day forecast looks like. And this is a really nice one. Fall officially arrives on Saturday. It's going to feel more like uh, you know, late summer out there. And then next week, this is the big change. Now, the question was, there was an upper level low that was supposed to come into the Great Lakes, potentially so, or was it gonna be an upper level ridge? Looks like the ridge is gonna dominate with uh, east to northeast wind coming out of Canada. Therefore, significant changes in this eight day. We need the rain, but I don't think too many people are gonna complain about nearly full sunshine and temperatures in the 70s next week. Gorgeous. Are, we still have art prize going on. There's some outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. People are starting to hit up the fall farms. Yeah. Like, that's fantastic. Those orchards are gonna be busy. Orchard, I'll have an, yep. update, um, an update on uh, some of those fall colors. Coming oh, up. yeah. Thanks, Thank Matt. you, Matt. Mm -hmm.